Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus have both been announced by Samsung and they are already looking to be contenders for the best phone of the year. Considering they do have the latest flagship specs, including the latest Snapdragon 855 processor from Qualcomm, they've also utilized Qualcomm's 3D sonic sensor and include an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor inside the display to actually unlock the phone. Huge shout out to Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. Now I'd like to go ahead and take a look at the benefits of using an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner over other in-display technologies, and also even test out this fingerprint scanner in the Galaxy S10 Plus, show it off in other conditions, including one with water. Let's go ahead and get started. To begin, I'd like to explain how this ultrasonic technology works. So with that Qualcomm 3D Sonic sensor, it actually sends out a tone burst, which is converted to pressure waves. So this is kind of similar to how sonar works. And essentially what it does is it uses the acoustics and the sound to scan the pores of your finger, which will actually result in a very accurate three-dimensional scan of your finger. So that means that no two-dimensional image of your fingerprint will actually trick the phone or even just a grease film on top of the fingerprint scanner. That's not actually going to work because of course it's actually sending out a tone and scanning the pores of your finger. So of course, not only does that mean it's more secure, but it also has an integrated low power wake up system. So it doesn't actually need to turn on the touchscreen controller when you touch the fingerprint scanner. So when you rest your finger on that ultrasonic scanner, it will actually just unlock your phone as you can see it in slow motion right now. Now other in-display fingerprint technologies actually need to take a brighter image to get a 2D scan of your finger. And this will actually cause screen burn in after an extended period of time. And with the ultrasonic technology, that's not the case because it doesn't need any additional light. It works in the dark, works in very bright light outside as well. No additional light is actually needed. Now I have used the other in-display fingerprint technologies and the first thing I noticed as soon as I picked up the Galaxy S10 was just how much lighter you actually had to set your finger on the display. With the other technologies, you actually had to press fairly firm to get it to scan your finger accurately. So now it's time to see it in action, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S10. Now I will be doing some testing in a group of scenarios. I have some flour and water behind me. We're not gonna be doing any baking because I also have some lotion behind me. So let's go ahead and test out this ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. All right, so here is the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now if I go ahead and lock the phone and turn on the lock screen, you will notice down at the bottom a little bit of an icon for where your fingerprint will actually need to go. So to actually set it down, you just go ahead and put a registered finger on it and you will see how quick and accurate it actually is to unlock your phone. Also, as I showed before, if you set your finger on the right spot with the display off, it will actually just unlock the phone. It doesn't need any extra light to read your fingerprint so it can go directly to the home screen, saving you some time. You can also register multiple fingers and since this is front facing, you can go ahead and just unlock it with any registered finger that you have. So we've already seen with a dry, clean hand, the fingerprint scanner is very accurate and very quick. But let's throw some curveballs at it, including some flour, water, and lotion and oily fingers. So I have some flour right here. Let's say we're doing a little baking and it gets a little messy. And then my phone actually has the recipe open and the display lock. So you'll see I have flour all up on my finger. And let's go to the lock screen. Now if we want to go ahead and unlock it, it says no match at first, but the second press, it actually registered it. Pretty impressive considering how much flour is actually on my finger. I could obviously wipe some of it off and clean it off, but I didn't even need to. And it actually unlocked. It says no match again. The second time it actually worked. Very impressive considering the amount of flour. Now let's say you're eating a greasy burger or maybe you actually put lotion on your hands. Maybe they're a little dry in the winter season. I actually never thought I'd be putting lotion on my hands in a video. But let's say you do get some on there. You make sure I get some on my thumb, which I'll be using. I can even try my pointer finger as well. So now my hands have a normal amount of lotion on them. I can actually go ahead and try and unlock the phone and you will see through all that lotion, it works just fine. Let's go ahead and try my pointer finger which it might actually have all that grease on there, but it still works actually switching fingers. I was kind of surprised about that one. I thought it would actually struggle because of course of all the grease on the display. And there you go, it actually works really well. So now the final test, and that is the water test. So let's say you're in the shower, you get caught in the rain, maybe you're at the pool and your hands are a little wet, or you get some water on your screen. Of course, this is IP68 rated, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, let's say I grab my wet thumb and I wanna go ahead and try and unlock the phone. So if I set it down, 
It says no mats. Let's try again. And it worked. It actually worked through water with a wet thumb. You will see there is now water on that fingerprint scanner spot. So I'm actually very impressed that worked. And there you go. First try again. So working through all of these elements is just another one of the benefits that using Qualcomm's 3D Sonic sensor actually will bring to the table. So that would be the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner within the Galaxy S10 explained. Expect to see more and more of these in-display fingerprint scanners popping up using Qualcomm's 3D Sonic sensor because, of course, it's integrated into that Snapdragon 855 chip. Overall, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that thumbs up button if you did. Be sure to drop a comment and subscribe as well. A lot more coverage coming from me soon. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.